Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to perform hotspot analysis in RGS Pro. For that we have to open the software RGS Pro and uh, under the tab of map we uh, need to create a project. You can do it under any folder you want and rename it accordingly. I am renaming it here as hotspot. Then this window will pop up and simply we will uncheck the world maps from here as we do not need the world maps now we need some point data on which we are going to perform our hotspot analysis first of all actually you have to connect your folder where you have kept your data we actually need some points that has some special references i mean that has the xy coordinates with them and we will simply visualize it through this software okay i'm simply connecting the folder where i have kept my data as you can see i have connected it from the catalog pan you can see that i have some point data named as calls unprojected and these are some unprojected data um, currently in just geographic currently in just uh, they are in the geographic coordinate system as you can simply see that uh, we will work on uh, this point data and these are some data of calls of some emergency calls of a certain area in the US like uh, the distribution we can see that from some area they got so many calls and from some area they got quite less emergency calls so meaning that some area uh, the people of some area have some emergency more than the other area surrounding it and uh, by doing hotspot analysis which is a powerful tool it is actually used to identify areas with high concentration of events or features simply first of all we have to uh, also create another geodatabase here to keep our output data that we will do afterwards we have to follow several steps afterwards and keep those data under this new geodatabase file i'm renaming it as hotspot output and also you have to do another thing like you need to specify your your input or working space and your output works working space so here i'm simply giving the current hotspot geo database at as the current or current workspace and as the scratch workspace we will give the geo uh, ge the hotspot output geo database it will simply help us to uh, further do the other processes on the on on the scratch geo database so it is quite required to do so okay i'm i'm giving the hotspot output geo database as this scratch workspace And the current workspace will be where I have the unprojected emergency calls data. And the first first step is to project this unprojected data from geographic coordinate system to projected coordinate system. Okay, I gave the input, and for the output, I am saving it in the hotspot output geo database and simply i will rename it rename it as like the calls projected okay now one thing uh, that you have to do that you have to search for the certain projected coordinate system for your data like uh, my data is from us uh, the oregon state of united states so i am simply taking this projected coordinate system 
you can search it in Google to search for the project head coordinate system of your data and uh, simply set it accordingly you can see that the project is completed now we will simply do another process which which is copy features copying the features will actually help us to run our process smoothly afterwards and we will also save it in the hotspot output geo database and name it as copy calls and we don't have to change any other thing we can simply run it here after completing the copy features part we will try to integrate the data to for input we will give the copy features here and uh, the value of the XY tolerance that I am giving here is 30 feet you can choose it according to your resolution or how uh, how accurate or how high or how lower resolution of mm, data or hotspot hotspot raster you want like the xy tolerance works like that and if you want to know more about each of the stages you can simply uh, go to the search okay now we have to do the collect events part it will actually collect the events and make us provide us several um, points like where the uh, events are occurring in higher concentration and where it is occurring on lower concentration if you want to know e about each of these uh, processes please search it on google and you will get them uh, in very details like what the xy tolerance uh, value mean what the what the collect events actually do what the inc uh, integrate part actually do you can just learn it from uh, google these are quite simple explanations okay uh, as you can see the collect events um, part is completed and uh, you can see that some of the areas are showing larger circles and some areas are showing showing smaller circles there are the areas with larger circles are showing high concentration of the occurrence of the event which is here the uh, emergency cases around a certain area of oregon okay now we have to do a special cor uh, correlation Simply we will input the collect events calls here again and uh, for the input field it will be the I count and if you also want uh, to know that which areas actually have the higher and lower uh, values you can simply create a report out of it and uh, you can give any uh, folder as output report file for some reasons you can see that when I gave the path to the output report file it's showing or both of these are showing cross so uh, if uh, this kind of error occurs you can simply just change the uh, path and change the name of the output and the problem will be solved afterwards like I don't need the table just I'm trying to get a report of this autocorrelation incremental autocorrelation as I've said you earlier that uh, simply hotspot uh, analysis is a tool 
used to identify areas with higher concentration or events or features imagine you are looking at a map where certain locations have more activity than others like uh, here the emergency records hotspot analysis helps you point out these hot areas where things are happening more often than the expected okay uh, you saw here like there is a warning uh, shown here as we uh, didn't give some uh, additional information that's why the error was uh, has been uh, shown here okay the last step we are going to the last step which is the which is the hotspot analysis the get is out method we will also give the collect calls here and for the input field for the input field we will also give the i count here afterwards we will save our output or the hotspot analysis output in another folder i'm renaming it as hotspot calls okay then you can simply run it to get your final hotspot um, analysis result you can see that we can see the hotspots and the cold spots here it is also showing um, that the threshold has not been selected by us so you can choose any threshold by uh, instructed in your process you can uh, use it according to your considerations and you can also simply search it on google to know about uh, what is actually this threshold means okay you can see that simply there are several spaces where we are getting cold spots like the uh, less occurrence of the events and these red areas are the hot spots and uh, the uh, pinkish areas are uh, hot spots but with lower confidence okay now if you want to generate a raster or image of uh, this uh, total hotspot result you can simply do a idw it will make you a, a raster or image out of these points you will give the giz score here as the z value field the output raster will be the image that we're doing with that we are trying to generate out of this hotspot analysis result okay i'm simply giving the extension as dot tiff here and i'm also uh, not changing the output cell size if you want a higher resolution you can simply uh, change the output cell size to a uh, lower value you can see the process is ongoing uh, it is now completed as you can see you can see that uh, some of the areas are sh showing uh, different colors and the areas with lower um, lower occurrence of emergency cases are showing some different colors okay by doing this analysis you can simply uncover patterns and trends that might not be obvious at first glance it's like shining a spotlight on the most important areas so you can focus your attention there whether it's for making decisions solving problems or planning future actions okay from clicking here i'm uh, simply uh, trying to change the color ramp i'm trying to impose a different color on it you can choose any color you want i'm choosing this color here but still uh, you can see that i'm quite trying to trying to uh, show the uh, red color as the higher concentration in the image so i will simply reverse the symbol order to get my color ramp in correct way
now you can see that we are getting the getting the correct uh, raster file of the hotspot analysis where the uh, darker dark red areas are showing the uh, higher concentration or clusters or hotspots and the blue color is actually showing the uh, cold spots thank you for watching the video